a new doll set based from Tangle the series, Rapunzel and Maximus Adventure set, relieves the interaction between Rapunzel and her faithful animal friend, Maximus. Represented as a plush doll, Maximus is provided with sounds when pressed, while Rapunzel is still accompanied by Pascal, as well as additional inclusions provided for the set. This unboxing review coming right up. Greetings everyone, this is Collectibles Euphoria, your resource for in-depth details of your favorite dolls, collectibles, and action figures. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Packaging involves a window display packaging with its box now bearing an improved version from its predecessors, which now includes a lovely concept art as opposed to the nondescript and generic box previously provided. It still bears its purple shade, which is used as the main color motif. The updated Disney Store logo is located on the upper right corner, and this doll is for three ages and up. The banner contains Rapunzel and Maximus Adventure set with the logo of Disney Tangle the series. It has a hole where you can try to press Maximus' body to create sounds. The side panels reveal the animated series with Rapunzel seen on one side, while the other side has big holes to allow the sounds to come out. The top has a big logo of the Tangled the series as well as some visuals of the inside contents. The back of the box is where the main improvement is seen, which now not only contains the Disney Channel logo and the same banner as seen on the front of the box, but now also has a beautiful artwork of Rapunzel and Maximus. This doll set retailed at $44.95 US dollars and $54.95 Canadian dollars. Let's go ahead and get all of them out of the box. The backdrop still used the same view of the castle of Corona and the town surrounding it, just like in the previous dolls released for this series. Starting off with Rapunzel, this doll is actually a combination of the two dolls previously released since her hair is the same as the Rapunzel doll with Cassandra set, while her outfit is a simplified version of the single adventure doll previously released. The only addition is the hooded cape, which is my favorite piece of her outfit, since this is new to the set. The cape is made from false weight fabric and it has a golden button with an elastic fabric wrapped around the button to help secure it in place. The hooded cape is knee length and the hood can be lowered down to reveal her hair. My only complaint about this cape is that it left discoloration on the right side of Rapunzel's earlobe as well as in the floral hair decoration on the left side of her bangs. Removing the cape is easy. Just stretch out the elastic that secures it in place and the cape can be easily removed. Rapunzel bears the same head sculpt and painted details as seen in her previously released dolls except for her eyeliner, which is now heavier and darker on the lower lash area. Her eyes are still presented in the same animated style, which is big, covering a larger area of her face, with her green eyes painted with different shades of green. She is still side glancing to the right. Her eyebrows are nicely arched. She has a slightly burnt skin around the lower eyes towards the nose and freckles right above it. She has a tight lip smile with a bit of a smirk and she has glossy purple color lipstick. Rapunzel's hair is parted on the right side 
and on the left side of her bangs, she has a beautiful white glossy floral hair ornament with some specks of pinkish, purple, and gold color. The hair ornament is tied using a white string on her bangs to keep it in place. Her hair is styled in multiple ponytails using bead scrunchies placed around a clear elastic. Her golden long hair is silky and for the most part is soft to touch except for the ends of the hair which is heavily gelled. My only complaint with her hair this time is the length. It is no longer as long as the doll released with Cassandra, with her hair now no longer touching the ground to help her stand in place. Her hair still has a yellow flexible cord which is seen when separating the strands of her hair that is tied using bead scrunchies and is still flexible since you can twist and turn it into various directions. Standing right beside her other doll release, you can definitely tell that her hair is a lot shorter than her previous counterpart so I have to use a doll stand to help keep Rapunzel in an upright standing position. As for her outfit, as mentioned earlier, it is a simplified version of the outfit previously released. To compare and contrast, the neckline still has a lace trim, though the shape of the lace is designed a little bit differently. The puffed sleeves still have vertical stripes of light purple and dark purple, with the remaining part of the sleeves made from pink satin fabric, and the entire design of the sleeve is a leg of mud and sleeve. The bodice is still designed to appear like a corset, with the outer panels made from a burgundy satin fabric, while the middle panel has a purple satin fabric. The middle panel also has a crossed section design using the same burgundy color, aiding in making a corset-like appearance of the bodice. However, the crossed section is no longer a separate piece but is now just printed. The lace trims on the bottom of the bodice is also now made from purple lace trim which is a little bit hard to see since it just blends in with the colored outfit. The dress is still a single piece which has velcro attachments on the back for easy donning and doffing. Another difference it has is the skirt. It is now just a single layer of A-line skirt with no glitters which I actually like since I am not a fan of glittered outfits as opposed to the two-layered skirt of the previous adventure doll set released. One thing that I appreciate on this doll version is that it addressed my complaint with the previous releases since their hairstyle did not match the outfit Rapunzel was usually seen wearing in the series. For this version, she now has the correct hairstyle to match her outfit since she was seen more wearing her hair in multiple scrunchies while wearing her purple dress. As for its articulation, since it bears the same 16 points of articulated joints, it is still capable of performing the exact motions the other dolls are able to execute. If you want a detailed demonstration of the articulated joints, please refer to my previous Rapunzel doll reviews. I will attach a link in here should that interest you. Moving on to Maximus. He is made from a plush doll which is created to resemble his likeness in the animated series. His main color is off-white, his muzzle is beige in color, and he has light yellow hair and tail which is all made from the same plush fabric, and his hooves are dark brown. His eyes and eyebrows are embroidered. The straps of the brittle, rain, and girth are all created from the same brown satin ribbon with the sun insignia seen on the medallion located in the middle of the straps as well as in the skirt of the saddle. The seat of the saddle is made from brown false suede fabric while the skirt is made from a textured false suede red fabric lined with a thin inner yellow border and a thicker black outer border of the skirt. On its right side, right above its front leg, it has a pink floral cutout with yellow arrow pointing downwards and this is the exact location where you press to make Maximus transmit nay sound. still 
includes Pascal, and he is in correct scale with Rapunzel. His painted details were also still spot on. New to the set is Rapunzel's cyan messenger bag, which is also made from a false suede fabric. It cannot be opened though, but it has a soft contents on the inside to give it some volume. The outer flap of the bag has a beautiful painted floral details with the bird design. The bottom end has a darker shade of bluish green leather fabric, which has a cross stitch design seemingly connecting it from the other parts of the messenger bag. Another addition bears the same design seen in the floating lanterns, which contains the sun insignia of the Kingdom of Corona. However, it appears like a bucket with a hollow space inside and a handle. The next accessory appears like a crystallized teal fragments bound together and can stand on its own. The last accessory is a dark brown journal with a brown ribbon tie and has pages tucked together on the inside but cannot be separated. This wraps up the review of Rapunzel and Maximus Adventure set and this set is heavily intended for Tangled the series fans who are following the series. All the inclusions serve their intended purpose for recreating the scenes in the series and I adore having Maximus around as well as him being able to create sounds. Rapunzel's doll might be considered a second-rate doll in terms of quality comparing to previous doll releases since this version is definitely a simplified version of the previous dolls, though I love the hooded cape she came along with. It is beautiful seeing her displayed together with the other doll released. Though I love having different variations of Rapunzel, I would love to own a doll version of Eugene with the same scale as Rapunzel since he was only released in the mini doll set. Hopefully in the future that can be arranged to be made by Disney. As of now, let us enjoy this doll set as it is created for Tangled fans, Tangled the series fans, and Disney doll enthusiasts. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more doll, collectibles, and action figure reviews. Feel free to leave a comment down below regarding this Rapunzel and Maximus Adventure set based from the animated series. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr as I post news and updates regarding upcoming toys, collectibles, and action figures. Thanks for watching. Bye!